This may shock the audience. There are three things that I think Donald Trump is doing right. And there are three things that I think that um, that every leader going forward should absolutely take their cue from Donald Trump. Um, number one, he's keeping his base mobilized. He's planning a rally next week. I believe it's in Tennessee. And he's keeping them. I mean, he's gathering them. We're not even two months out from the from the inauguration. He's had two rallies already and it says something when you realize the power of your base your base mobilizes you you mobilize your base you energize each other and you can keep going now obviously he's mobilizing his base to hurt the average american but if he can do the he can, if he can do the smart thing for the wrong reason why the hell can't democrats or any other politician do where was why did not barack obama keep his base mobilized and galvanized he i mean going forward leaders better take note because this is how donald trump is managing to be more popular even though he's unpopular he's more popular than the republican party than hillary clinton than the dnc and he's doing so because he's keeping his base mobilized that's number one what do you think about that i believe you i, I believe you're spot on i believe that at the end of the day a lot of the things that he does he he continues to throw that red meat out to his public. He stand, he stand consistent with him. But the other part about it is Ben, is that it's easy when you're doing what you said you was gonna do. <laughs> yeah. He said he was gonna build a wall and Mexico gonna pay for it. So yep. so but look, he since he can't get Mexico to pay for it now, he's gonna figure out another way where he can lie and say Mexico yep. gonna pay for it because we ain't gonna give Mexico no yep. money. Yep. So so he's kept his promise. He said he was gonna repeal Obamacare and replace it. Guess what he's doing, y'all? He's keeping his promise. He said he was going to make America safe again. Guess what he's doing, y'all? He's keeping his promise. So the number one rule of politics is if you say it, mean it, and if you don't mean it, don't say, say it. something else. <laughs> and he's <laughs> keeping his promises. It's e Listen, it, 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 it's easy, Ben, when you're saying exactly what you mean. You mean what you say. You say what you mean. Yep. Because uh, most politicians don't have the wherewithal. They they float like the wind. They, they use too many focus groups and, and too too many uh, and too many stats instead of going with their gut saying, so if I went home, if I was a Republican and I went home and all these people told me not to get rid of Obamacare, at the end of the day, I'm remembering self-preservation is the first law of politics. I need to get elected again. Mm. So I'm going to say, y'all can't do this right now because I'm going to lose. If you go, if I got to come back home, these are people, I know these right. folks, right. these ain't no democratic plants. Right. These are people who have worked Real on people. my campaign. Right. Right. Told me don't get rid of it. And so I'm yep. going to have to work with that. So I think that's the first thing, Ben. You're right. All right. As a politician, the first thing he's doing is that he's honoring his word. And he's keeping and that's it. Something yeah. that Democrats need to learn. He's keeping he's 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 keeping. And, and as horrible as his policies are, as much as it's going to hurt the average American, that's what they want. And he's doing it. And he's keeping his mobilize his base mobilized. He's keeping them rally in rallies. So that's and, and going forward forward any politician who does not understand that you're a complete fool because it's working it's working for the wrong agenda why the hell can't we put it in action for the right agenda number two that he's doing right and i think every other politician needs to focus on and, and take note of he is not wasting time with bipartisanship he's not wasting time trying to convince democrats that he's the that he has the right agenda he's steamrolling the democratic party and he doesn't care and i'm reminded back when 2008 when president obama spent so much time trying to bring the Demo the republicans along he spent so much time trying to convince them that this is that we're going to have a new era in american politics there's no such thing as a new era in american politics Politics, except for the fact that we are a hyper partisan, uh, we have a hyper partisanship environment. And so in that environment, stop wasting time trying to convince people who would rather die than to find some type of coalition with you. Stop trying to win them over. Work for the people that got you there. I think he's doing the right thing there politically. Again, it's stuff that's going to hurt us, but it's absolutely something that leaders need to learn and stop wasting time uh, 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 triangulating, ultimately coming up with something that your base didn't want in the first place. Give me about 30 seconds on that. 30 seconds, Ben. The first thing he began to do, he began to bring in CEOs and he told them, you will not move these jobs out of this country. If you do, you will pay. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, I told you this is about eating right now. Yep. 
So these folks want to eat and they hungry. White people are beginning to hurt like black people are hurting. These folks used to have well-paying middle-class jobs. They were the ones who were able to stay when black people got let go. And now they're, they're at a point right now where they starving too. Yep. And at the end of the day, if you keep that in front of them, you'll be fine. It has nothing to do with partisanship. That's why when Elijah Cummings went there and started talking about reducing the cost of, 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 of prescription drugs, drugs through Medicare, it, it hit Trump right on. Trump said, yeah, let's cut the cost. Mm. Yep. At the end of the day, he don't care whether you're Democrat or Republican. He ain't go looking for he didn't go looking for Elijah Cummings. Elijah Cummings threw him a bone yep. and he bit. Yep. All right. Last but not least, the thing that I think Donald Trump is doing right. Uh, and we're going to end the show here after you, I let you get the last word and tell everyone how to get up with you. Uh, Donald Trump. Every morning, six o'clock in the morning, he's clearly somewhere on a, in the bathroom tweeting communicating directly to his base. He 100% circumvents the media as much as he possibly can. And so by the time the media catches up with his morning tweets, the average American has already gotten it. They're like they're getting it through social media. They're getting it through Facebook. Uh, and then in the middle of the day, you have the press conference and something happens in the press conference. And then the media has to play catch up again. He's got the media on their tails, right? The, he, he's got them playing catch up with him. And I don't think it's so much a, an intentional strategy because I think he's just doing what he normally does, which is he gets up, he sits on the john, <laughs> and he tweets. And it's working for him. And it's time for politicians <laughs> to stop to, to, to stop poll testing everything. Now, now, granted, again, the context is this. The stuff that he's saying is ridiculous. The stuff that he's saying is detrimental. The policies he's going for is hurting, is going to hurt America. But it's working for him because he's circumventing the press, he's keeping his base mobilized, and he's not worried about about bipartisanship and if he can do all those things for the wrong agenda surely we got to find some polit political leaders who can do those types of things for the right agenda jp get the last word and then tell everyone how they can get up with you hey i will just simply say this i believe you're absolutely right on one on one point of it I think that the idea of him controlling the narrative, because at the end of the day, that's all the press is. They utilize the press to control the narrative. Trump has decided to use Twitter to be the narrative controller. Yep. That's fine and that's well and that's good until you do something ignorant. Because one of the things that you have to be careful about is, okay, um, think about it. I, I like to use an analogy. So here's my analogy. Think about if you're a drug dealer and the police <laughs> is trying to catch you, right? Yeah, yeah. The police, the police doesn't doesn't have to be right, but one time, one time, you got to be correct Every all time. the time. Right. That's the problem that Trump is going to run into messing around with the press. He got to be right all the time because the one time that he's wrong could be the one thing. He never thought in a million years that the thing that was going to get him in the most trouble that he's in right now is accusing the previous president ah, yep. of wiretapping. Yeah. Yeah. Not just saying that his administration did it, but that he did it, yeah. which yeah, makes it sure. illegal, which makes it a felony, which basically. So guess what? By that same thing, you have to live be by careful, the sword. Die the same by the thing sword. you use well is the same thing that can bring you down. And that's why Trump has to be careful. So that's where I think he's going to get bit in the butt at is messing around. <laughs> and because all of a sudden people are still digging. All they right. Digging, they digging, they digging, they digging. You don't need people digging. You need people believing. How can you get up with me? Well, if you in Las Vegas right now, you can come get me from the stratosphere. <laughs> I'm here for one more day doing some training. <laughs> but in real life, you can hit me up at JP Rankin, JP Rankin on Twitter. Um, and hey, look, it's just good to be back and with my family. I love y'all. I miss y'all. I just needed to go decompress because this politics had me depressed. <laughs> but I'm here to let you know that I am still impressed by what the pro progressive army is doing to the rest. And I'm here to let you know that it's going to be all right because progressives still are the best. And forget what everybody else is saying. Let's not lay down and go to rest. <laughs> Let's get up and handle our business. Drop the bike. <laughs> the Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.thebenjamindixonshow.com to register for our blog, join the Progressive Army, and support The Benjamin Dixon Show. <laughs> if you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.
Consider becoming a Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show and support the Benjamin Dixon show.